Perfect. A couple of weeks ago, we made a management buyout of Magneto's labs, and we are now Blixt. But Blixt is not only a new T-shirt and rebranding, it's actually a new company where we have added a lot of new technologies. And today at EcoSummit, it's world premiere to show what we're doing. I'm Charlotte Holmquist, the CFO and co-founder, and in my team I have also Jan, who was one of the top innovators at Ericsson. We have Jens, who brings in IoT and machine learning, and then Truid, who has 20 years of experience from digitization. And the core of what we are doing is actually to disrupt an industry that has been pretty much the same for 150 years, and we're talking about electricity. 1864, the first fuse was invented for safety reasons, and then Edison made a breakthrough a couple of years later where he created the mechanical circuit breaker, and you can actually reuse the fuse. But not until today. For the first time ever, we at Blixt have developed a digital circuit breaker with pure electronics. First of all, we increase the safety. We can break within 250 nanoseconds, which is at least 1,000 times quicker. But that's not all. We add a lot of new features. We have real-time data on a disaggregated level. Currently, we do 100 samplings per second, but we can increase to mega sampling if required. We have modulating control, not only on-off. We can modulate it from zero to 100% in power, which is just by removing single sinus periods. All the breakers are software programmable, two-way communication over the air updates, which means that we can distribute new services just like a smartphone or a Tesla car. We can actually program the limit of the breakers. So let's say you want to upgrade from 12 amp to 16 amp. That's now possible. And all devices can handle both AC and DC in the same device. We actually we got a full-page article about us in The Economist, and it's, we were not only proud, we were amazed by the attention. Um, and it was also an eye-opener of what we actually can achieve. We have been reached out from companies throughout the world, not only home automation and energy sector, but uh, automotive, lighting, and industrial implementations. And I will show you just some examples of the pains that we can solve. In the automotive industry, you have test rigs, and those contain up to 6,000 mechanical relays. And if you're going to run a test of, let's say, the engine, you need to manually program on a pin level. So you go here like an old-fashioned operator switchboard and do the testing. It's very time-consuming. It takes six months to build one test rig, and the investments are up to 100 million euros just for testing out the engine of the car. So they asked us, could you possibly do this in front of the computer? And we said, yes, sure. So we demoed it, and they were uh, quite happy about the results. We also have, uh, it's cheaper, it's faster, it's more accurate testing. We can reproduce tests, and there's no vendor lock-in. Another example is in the lead light industry, where they have problems with so-called inrush currents. Um, and it's quite expensive. So our solution is, yes, we quickly, quickly break, and we soft start, uh, so we just avoid this current. And we can add three more LEDs to one breaker, and it's a big cost saver. And of course, we have utilities. Um, usually, on the top of the agenda are two things. It's demand response, and it's shifting from selling energy to customer-centric services. The problem, however, I hope you don't really have this old-fashioned meter, but that's your end point. So you lack the data, and you lack the connectivity to all your building, buildings. We don't only provide the data, but we take one step further, and you can actually act on that data. You can automate. Um, we can create new services on demand directly from the fuse box and shifting loads when required. Oh, the market and status. If this is so genius, why have no one else done this before? Uh, we have met with many of the traditional companies in our field, big conservative companies, and the faces we meet are quite often like this at least in the first, second, and third meeting. Maybe then open up their eyes. And there is a reason. The circuit breaking market is worth over $30 billion annually, and it's a big cash cow for those traditional companies. I was impressed when I looked at automotive test equipment, $600 billion annually. So it's, it's huge markets we are approaching. Our status is that we have the first uh, circuit boards from factory production. We have validated all call functionality, so we know it's, it's actually working. 
We are, uh, we are now uh, building a lot of demo projects because we want to demonstrate the functionality for all those implementation areas. But we are busy people, so uh, please, we have room for more. So if you are the right partner for us, we would love to show you what we're doing. Thank you. How lot are you raising capital? Oh, that's the, the million dollar question. Uh, we spent all our money actually in buying the companies, and now we are very happy people, but of course we're always looking for funding. So we're opening up the first seed round uh, in Blixt, now in June, uh, and we uh, are looking to a larger A round by the end of the year, more for strategic partner in those implementation areas. Okay, how, how big is the A round going to be? It's going to be one million euro. No, no, not the A round. The, the, seed, the seed round, round. one million, yes. and then the A round. Do you already it, have an idea? Uh, we have a quite good a idea. It, we have a plan, uh, and it also depends on how many milestones and how many projects we will run in parallel. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, set. Okay, it's not, not uh, finally defined. No, but it will be larger than the seed round. Okay, Thank super. You. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Blixt from Sweden. <laughs>